OK. We know it's December. It is. In December, that's Christmas. Yes. So I thought for Christmas, we could like talk about what we want to do for 2018. Mm. And you can ask me questions about the things that I want to do. OK. So something that I'm excited about is animation worklet. Animation worklet. OK. Now, what's a worklet? Worklet is like a worker, like a potentially off-thread thing. Yes. But it's more like weight and something that we can easily and cheaply instantiate. Oh, like a piglet is a smaller pig. Uh, yes. A worklet is a smaller worker. Right, yes. OK, I understand. Now, an animation, what's that? Actually, I know. But what, what <laughs> isn't that, what, how does that fit inside a worklet? So you know how you end, sometimes you end up like doing JavaScript in a raft just to make complex animations or have something stick to your finger, like drag and drop things with like transforms? Like on, on native, where you scroll a thing, a header sort of goes up, something exactly. changes size. These kind right? of things. Those would go in a worklet, because the worklet would be called on every frame. Worklets can't access DOM. No. But we have like special thingies, like proxy elements. So you can still transform them at, like with the fast GPU Ooh. operations, like transform and opacity, but only those things. Oh, OK. So it's just the things that can be composited. Exactly. It basically runs ah. on the compositor. Technically, that's not true, but might as well think about it that way. So you can manipulate where things appear on screen. It's really fast, and you can do really fancy, fancy things. OK. So what can I do that in response to? You can do it in response to time, because that's how animations work. But that also is true. in response to scroll. So that can have frame-perfect oh. scroll-linked effects. So um, you could do things like a, a Heidi bar that disappears, or a header that grows when you scroll down, or like so a, an object it rotates when you scroll down. So, this, so, you, so you're getting the scroll position in, and you, yeah. you have access to a series of elements or and, something. Yeah, and you can just do, do what you want with them. Yeah. OK. And then with time, you just give it like a, I, I, I want to do an animation for 20 seconds, and you just get the frame yeah, callbacks. It's, it's very around. similar to the Web Animations API, where you define timelines and keyframes on these timelines. And then you can basically say, on this time, I want to be at this point, depending on where you are on the scroll timeline or the actual time, 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 line, 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 time line, 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 animations. Animations. Bang on. <laughs> I want to talk about the WebLocks API. Go. Is that like war locks? No. So it's like lo like mutex locks and stuff. Yes. What? Correct. What? What is? What? How? <laughs>